is why it's very important that we and un first we have to understand what we're looking at okay a macro cosmic path okay that is the uh heaven earth and human okay. energy now this jing chi sun these very very good color graphy and uh i met this Taoist priest in beijing uh university when i when i me and himself was invited as the vice chairman of the research institute okay internal night uh, medicine and uh, unfortunately i uh, it's only a young guy i think about 50 something 40 50 something right nice guy and uh, he passed away now at that time i did uh, talk talking to him because he you know we were exchanging things and he was telling me that you know you know he obviously they, there's some training his training he doesn't understand and then unfortunately that's why he, he 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 couldn't i couldn't help him he was so far away and he passed away but at the end of the day he gave me this and uh respect uh, respect to to our late teacher okay it is dealing with the qigong thing and he doesn't really understand it and he he got some really ill he got really really ill but it's nothing to do with spirit obviously yeah so I'm using his character just to memorize this teachers. Okay, yeah, respect. Okay, now this character stands for Jing. So we talk about Jing. So what in the Chinese, the Jing, these are the, now the Chinese, we look at it, the three treasure of human mind and body now. Okay, so Jing Qi Shen. Like I said, uh, there are many teachers, they're looking at all these phenomena from different angles. Everybody is correct, right? Yeah, you cannot say who's right or who's wrong because at the end of the day, this is only a character, isn't it? It's like a pictogram. So don't forget our, our language comes from pictures. And uh, for thousands of years, that's how we our character comes in. So there, obviously there have been very big misinterpretation there, right? lost in translations. So tonight I'm just trying to use modern science because the science why is you can't argue with science now, do we? You know, I mean, you still argue with science and there's no point of really talking about it now, isn't it? So I'm using modern science to try to decode all the ancient the Chinese written records about what inside us, the treasures, Jing Qi Shen. Okay, now the first misinterpretation is the Jing because even in China today, when people mention about Jing, because the same character, the same pronunciations meant sperm of human species. And then straight away, somebody will say that, oh, yeah, also the ladies will have the eggs. But fine. These are reproductive energy. Very, very important. So in the, all the Taoist study, there is an actual study of Fong um, Zhong the arts of the bedroom. So we can call it the skills of sexuality. Okay, yeah. So there's nothing wrong if you look at it from that point of view. So the, the pronunciation of Jing, right? The writing, right? They're all, uh, you know, obviously pointed to this, uh, this kind of phenomenon. However, we are not here to talk about sexual intercourse, is it? We're talking about a medicine of exercising. So, <laughs> so that's where the people come in. We're talking about Naidan, internal Taoist medicines, right? We use our tool is use methodology, Gong Fa, the mind and body for exercising to induce our natural body medicine. And then people talk about this, sperm and eggs. So <laughs> I think it's a bit quite different, isn't it? Don't you think? So this is, obviously, this is the female, the eggs now. So yeah, so... Therefore, tonight I'm trying to trying to point out different things. So I put it in front of you. You use your brain to think about it. That is the whole thing about you know the uh, the teaching right of yin and yang principle. You heard it before. I told you something different. Now you think about it. You're right in the middle. Think about it. The truth lies in the middle. Okay. Yeah. So reproductive. You know, system is very important. It's all energy, but like I said, we're not talking about the skill in bedroom. We are talking about exercising now, okay? Talking about inducing natural body medicine, are we not? And obviously now through that gene and also the female's eggs, 
we have human energy, right? So just now we talk about, you know, human, uh, uh, talk about heaven, heaven, earth, and now we talk about human now. So microcosmic, yeah? So, uh, you know, the life force start, start now, okay? Yeah? So it is Jing, but not, but not, okay? Yeah? Sexuality. Okay, now, uh, that's from uh, one of, part of my books. So I'm using the particle things to, 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 because this is Jing. We also call it Jing in Chinese. Jing Mei, Jing Mei. Very minute, so minute. So we can talk about, you know, the nucleus. In the nucleus, you have the electron, you have proton, you have neuron. Because these are the particle we call Yun Jing of the cosmic, right? And also particle make up of everything in the universe. So that is what we are looking at. The same pronunciation, the same character, but two different knowledge, shall we say. Okay, so that's where the biggest misinterpretation there. Okay, so obviously now we are, we're talking about quark now. So science have found so much. You know, years ago, we talked about uh, the atoms, right? And then we talk about you know, the hydrogens and, the, you know, the hydrogen bombs and all kinds of things. And now we even smashed up the God's particle now, isn't it? So within the next 20 years, God knows what we found. So there is a lot of energy. And these are energy, are they not? So we're talking about energy. So it's a particle. Jing. Okay, yeah. So we have two up and one down or two down and one up. But don't ask me what it is because I'm not specialized on that. But, you know, I'm just saying that this is where... A lot of misinterpretations comes in. We should look at things, you know, Yuan Jing right, is the particle. So we are all made up of particles, are we? Yeah. Okay, now, so I just uh, quote some uh, from, from the old text from my PhD 17 years ago. So the scholar Ge Hong, Jing Dynasty, also mentioned in his book, right? Bao Ha Bao Bo Ti, okay? Now he said, indeed, taking remedy is a good way to promote health. Nonetheless, it Practiced together with a spontaneous Xing Qi Su, one could gain better and faster results. And without using remedies, but only spontaneous Xing Qi Su, a person can still enjoy a few extra hundreds years of age. Now, those who are skillful in spontaneous Xing Qi Su can promote health and repute sicknesses. So I did not make this up. Right? This, this is 283 AD. We got written text even older than that so that's why yes we can as scholar we can talk about anything else but the thing is you have to justify it where do you get the information from right so that's why in, as in the university when you know we have to have we have to have proof so that's why we have to quote all these ancient texts because you might say hey you make it up you make things up well, I wish I could make things up, but I'm not that clever, okay? Yeah, I'm only a student. Fair enough, I'm not a master. And these are the masters, thousands and thousands of years ago with their experience and their knowledge passing down to us. So if somebody said that they found this style and they found this style, excuse me, a few thousand years ago already, already mentioned everything. And then somebody tell you, oh, I found this guy, this priest and this monk coming down a mountain in a white cloud and that kind of, uh, Harry Potter stuff. You come to the wrong place. Okay, yeah? Okay. Uh, all right, so now um, let, let me talk about five minutes and we go to the part three then. Okay, yeah. Now, so what happened was the uh, there's a lot of quotes. We have to quote all this because today modern science has done brilliant jobs, right? Giving us hard evidence, okay? But modern science in, in this particular Naidan, internal Taoist medicine, you don't have the methodology, you don't have the experience of putting the knowledge into practices. Why the ancient Chinese have that, right? For 5,000 years of written knowledge on it. So that's why we can work together, right? We can use the modern science to decode, you know, all this ancient knowledge. So at the end of the day, we know exactly what are we doing. Right, that's the whole main point. Because at the end of the day, if somebody now talk to you, oh, I'm doing qi gong. What is that? Oh, my nai qi, my dai tian qi. Can you be a bit more specific? Okay. Now, so bring up the third part. Now, this is qi. Now, okay, jing qi shen. Just now, we talk about jing. 
Okay, yeah. So the particle, we're looking at through particle. Now, chi. Thank you.